Hello there boys and girls, welcome back to Mrs B's book club. Do you like fairy tales or traditional tales like The Three Little Pigs or Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Well, today's story is a mixture of all of those types of stories. It's called The Great Fairy Tale Disaster. All of the characters from all of the fairy tales that you know will be inside this book, but I think that something might go wrong because the word disaster means something terrible is going to happen. So shall we find out what happens to all the characters that you know and love? Let's give it a go. The Great Fairy Tale Disaster by David Conway and Melanie Williamson. Once upon a time, there lived an old, big, bad wolf. He no longer had any huff and puff to blow down the three little pigs' houses, and he'd had enough of falling into hot water. What I need, the wolf thought to himself, is a nice, relaxing fairy tale for a change. So he scampered off into the pages of the fairy tale book to find one. Cinderella. Cinderella was busy sweeping and she hadn't noticed the wolf's dark shadow appear in the doorway. I want to be in your tail, he growled. Of course, stammered a frightened Cinderella. Take my place. Just then, the fairy godmother arrived. I know you'd love to go to the ball, she said to the wolf, and so you shall. There was a flick of a wand and a burst of light. Wolves don't wear dresses, cried the wolf, hobbling off in glass slippers to find a different tail. Soon after, the big bad wolf crept up behind Jack on the magic beanstalk. Jack trembled as he let the wolf into his fairy tail. The big bad wolf was climbing up the beanstalk when he saw two huge feet and he heard a horrible giant voice bawling. Fee, fi, fo, fum. This tale's too scary, cried the wolf as he slid back down the beanstalk to find another one. Then the big bad wolf found Sleeping Beauty snoring softly in her bed. Wakey, wakey, he snarled. Out you get. There the big bad wolf lay, so beautiful that the prince could not turn his eyes away. He knelt down and gave the wolf a kiss. Yuck, spluttered the big bad wolf. I hate being kissed. So he dashed away to try his luck elsewhere. The big bad wolf ran to the three bears empty cottage in the forest. He opened the door and stepped into the tail. Yum, he said, porridge, my favourite. The big bowl of porridge was too hot. The second bowl of porridge was too cold. But the littlest bowl was just right, so the wolf ate it all up. This is the life said the wolf as he sat down in the big comfy chair. But suddenly the door opened and in stormed the three bears. Where's Goldilocks? demanded Daddy Bear. What are you doing in our fairy tale? scowled Mummy Bear. And where's my porridge? cried Baby Bear. The wolf made a dash for it but the three bears chased him into the next fairy tale. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your long hair, called the prince. And then the next. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge, roared the troll. I'll eat you for breakfast. And before you could say mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? There was chaos and confusion everywhere. 
The princess didn't kiss a frog, but she did kiss a billy goat gruff. Hansel and Gretel pushed Prince Charming down into an oven. And Puss in Boots pricked his paw on a spindle and fell asleep for 100 years. What a mess, cried the big bad wolf. And he escaped back through the pages of the book to the three little pigs. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, huffed the big bad wolf. No, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins, said the little pigs. We will not let you in. But the wolf had already clambered up onto the roof and he was coming down the chimney, only to land splash in a pot of hot water. Oh, not again, cried the big bad wolf. And that was the end of the fairy tale troubles. Can you believe all of those stories got mixed up together? Oh my goodness, what a disaster. The title was not lying, was it? Okay, I'm gonna set you three questions like usual. Let's see if you can answer them. Okay, question number one. What did the fairy godmother do to the big bad wolf? What did she do? And who does she normally do that to? Let's take a look. She flicked her wand and put him on glass slippers and a beautiful dress ready to go to the ball. But that doesn't usually happen to the big bad wolf in the usual fairy tale story. It usually happens to Cinderella when she goes to the ball. So that's a bit mixed up, isn't it? Shall we try a new question? Okay, boys and girls, question number two. When the big bad wolf went into the three bears cottage, he saw three bowls of porridge, a big bowl, a medium sized bowl and a little bowl. How did the porridges taste? What was the big bowl like? What was the medium bowl like? What was the littlest bowl like? Can you remember? So, the big bowl of porridge was too hot. The second bowl of porridge was too cold. But the littlest bowl was just right and he ate it all up. I wonder who these bowls usually belong to. I think the big bowl usually belongs to Daddy Bear. The middle sized bowl usually belongs to Mummy Bear. And the littlest bowl must have been Baby Bear's. And he was so sad wasn't he on the next page. He said, but where's my porridge? And started to cry. And finally the last question. So on the very last page, everything was becoming such a disaster. All of the fairy tales were completely mixed up. I want you to think about Hansel and Gretel. Now usually in the Hansel and Gretel story, they push the wicked old witch into the oven, don't they? But they didn't push the wicked old witch into the oven in this story. Who did they push in the oven? Can you remember who it was? It was Prince Charming. Oh no, I hope he gets out and he's okay because he needs to rescue all those princesses, doesn't he? Oh my word, I can't believe what a disaster this page was. Okay, boys and girls, well that's the end of the great fairy tale disaster. I hope you enjoyed that. It was something a little bit different, wasn't it? I will see you in the next story. Goodbye.